so I have some rare earth magnets here on the bottom just stacked up and then I have a triple A battery and then I have one more of these magnets up here on the top then I have a piece of uh, wire that I got out of a cat5 cable and I bent it up so this will be the world's simplest motor Ooh, I got that upside down here let me turn it around there it goes pretty cool huh this is actually a very delicate balancing act with the wire the way it's wrapped around the battery and then it's touching down here on the magnet you can see I've been playing with this a while so my battery is a little bit dead but uh, you can see where the wire is touching the magnet so it makes a pretty cool pretty cool little toy okay guys today I am going to be building a work table for my electronics projects as well as a computer repair that sort of thing so hang out with me and I'll show you how I like to cover my tables and we'll try to build a little workspace together because I am running out of room so hang tight for that pretty neat Today I'm going to be working on tables. I'm going to make a new uh, workbench for myself that uh, I'm going to be using this collapsible table here that I have. I have quite a few of these tables. They're oh, let me get my tape measure here. I'm not sure how big they are. So they're just shy of 8 feet, which is 96 inches. And about 30 inches wide. And they're pretty rough, I give you that. I mean, uh, these have been used for years inside a church uh, for, you know, banquets or meetings maybe. Um, and they're made out of uh, wood and metal and these metal legs are very expensive to purchase if you've ever uh, looked at uh, the cost of just buying the legs never mind the metal frame for this type of um, table you can get a lot of money in these fast and I gave a church a um, hundred dollars for six of these so I've already used uh, all but one well, actually all but two, but now that I'm using this one, I'll, be, I'll have one left. And um, what I like to do is cover the table with this brown, or I'm sorry, this black uh, fuzzy carpet. It's uh, made for automobiles. It cleans up nice, and uh, it's gentle on um, things that you put on the table, such as laptops or electronics. Um, and I've covered all my tables with this stuff and uh, I really like it and I'm gonna um, kind of let you hang out with me today as I cover these tables so um, I'll try to get a little workstation going too my problem with that is I have all these projects like this table here is taken by this project that we're going to talk about later in the week this table over here, which was my green screen, is now being used to photograph all these laptops that I'm selling. This is the carpet that we're going to be putting on it. And it's a replacement carpet, 36 by 72. And I picked this up at Walmart. Um, they had it over in the automotive section. I think it was like $10 a roll. And it takes, for the, these size tables that I have, a little more than you know 
uh, one roll. So a roll and a quarter will do one table. So, you know, I've got about $12, $13 in the carpet plus the staples and, um, you know, the carpet tape. And then another, you know, maybe 18 bucks on the table. So for less than $25 a table, I would say, and some manual labor, I get a really nice table out of the deal. And here's one of the tables here. It has junk on it right now. This is over by the area where we do our green screen stuff. But you can see the, the black table. I don't know how good it photographs in here. But uh, here's another one over here. And uh, when you put things on this table, you know that it's not going to get scratched. And besides that, it makes these tables look a lot better. So uh, I'm going to grab some tools, guys, and we'll start covering this table. And then uh, I'll show you how I'm going to build up my workbenches. Um, the main reason for me wanting to do this is because, you know, like I said, that table's taken, this one's taken. Um, now that I'm doing YouTube videos, this whole area right here is being used for YouTube video. And to be honest with you, I could use more. And then I'm doing repairs over here, and I'm even doing repairs in my office now. And we're doing repairs in the other office. So, yeah, we're running out of room fast. So uh, let me get a few tools together, and we'll get started on this table. I'll show you how to uh, how I like to cover a um, ordinary table so we can use it for repair work or whatever. So hang tight. Well, here's the bottom of the table. Looks like somebody wrote it off as bad, so... Yeah, this was uh, probably going to be thrown away if I didn't buy it and rescue it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it up and uh, get started. It's a pretty good sized table. I noticed too that it's a little bit shorter than this one. So, um, this is a little bit different table. It looks like square tubing, and this is round tubing. Um, so, it's just a little bit of height difference, which I can block it up if I want it to match. It's not that big a deal to me. Okay, well that's one piece right out of the package brand new you can see it did about two-thirds of the table maybe a little bit more and here's my other piece here so I'll just finish it up with this this is pretty straightforward about how I'm gonna put this on here there's not a you know a whole lot to see it's more of an idea than anything I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start putting this together with some staples on the staple gun means this is wood I can just um, you know tack it from underneath and then what I like to do is treat the seam with a little bit of double-sided tape and I'll show you that so uh, okay let me go ahead and get stapling I just want to put some kind of straight edge here so I'll have something to reference So when I installed this on this line, I left a little flap here so I could raise this up. Just enough to put some carpet tape down. Any kind of carpet tape will work just fine. This is a uh, three inch, I think. I'm sorry, one and a half inches. And it was just two bucks. This is really the trick to it, is to use this stuff and, um, you know, use a lot of it. It's 
it's unfortunate the carpet has to have a seam on the table, but if you buy, unless you have a another supplier, and you know, I'm only paying ten dollars a roll. You might be able to get your rolls longer. I don't know, but uh, the way these are, you know, I have to splice them up, and I'm saving money, but you know, at the expense of having to do this. So. Lift up the second side and put it down. And the carpet tape works really good. And once you know you put stuff on this table, you'll never be able to see that same. Lots of staples. Save your corners here for last. We'll fix them up. Very end. Here are the staples I'm using. They're called T50s. They're three eighths of an inch long or ten millimeter. And when I'm when I'm done putting these in, I'll go back with a hammer and just beat them in, just to be sure that they stay. You know, I've also used this same carpet to build some homemade stereo speakers and amplifier speakers for guitar, and it worked out really good. And I just used contact cement, or they have some spray called 777 that works out really good too. So uh, this, this carpeting is great for making homemade speakers too. And loaded. Okay, so that's what I have so far. That's the part I have to do yet. I got a little piece sitting over here I'm going to use for that. And uh, I'm not finished putting staples in this part yet. But uh, it's getting there. And I still have to finish off the corners. Her up. Just pull stretch and then put a staple in. That's the trick. At the very end, you can just cut that extra off. On the corners, all I do is I I pinch it around there, and this part will be a little extra. I just take my blade and put a slice in it, and then take out the extra bit kind of like a little V notch like that and then shape it up so it looks good doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> it's just a table <laughs> and then uh, start firing some staples in it makes a pretty good corner Just like that. 
Okay, so once you get the uh, table done and you get your staples in, what I like to do is go around and just feel where there's a staple sticking up. And you can flip the table upside down if you want to, but uh, I just feel where the staple is and then take a hammer and bury it so that staple will never come out of there again. And just go around the edges and make sure that uh, they're all in. Got ourselves a table. Well, there it is. Now I just have to put it in position and then uh, put my things on it. We'll be good. Well, okay, there it is. There's my new table that I just set up and uh, carpeted. I put some things on it and uh, I wanted to kind of keep it clean as possible so that when I bring new projects in I have somewhere to set them. I just basically put a, a laptop here and my camera rig. This is a little gooseneck camera that I, I use for overhead shots sometimes. I've got it set up on a little stand here and uh, here's the Raspberry Pi running here and then the video editing machines here. And uh, here's the little lamp that I'm using as a magnifying glass. I've really started really loving this thing and I use it all the time and I just put my tools here and then I've got it set up so that when I'm working on this bench over here I can just reach around behind me and pick up a tool or use the use the uh, flat table space there too so yeah that works out really well so uh, I'm sure I'll clutter it up pretty quick but uh, it's uh, nice and clear for now <laughs> okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of the Guru Brew and if you want to cover your own table I bought that at Walmart it's just a replacement carpeting that I found in the automotive section and uh, it has stain guard already on it so um, you know if you spill your coffee or something like that on here it should wipe up nice it's 36 by 72 it's 100 percent polyester and um, works really well about 10 bucks per roll okay guys have yourself a good day and I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. And be sure to rate and comment. See ya.